<clears throat> hey guys, Destroy Yesterday here. Again, today we're going to walk you through how to change freighters by a new freighter without losing any of your plants or any of your base or anything. Um, so that we don't have to start all over. So, just for the sake of the video, first step obviously is to get um, ships, multiple ships into your hangar bay. This will create more room for you to store your resources. Um, I'll show you that in just a second. But second step, <coughs> obviously, is to uh, deconstruct all of your plants and everything. So I'm just going to show you what I did just to help you visualize. So I had a bunch of plants in here. There you can see I still have a couple of the trays left over. Um, I got rid of them all. Um, put them in my exosuit and things. You do get all of your resources back when you deconstruct a plant, um, including the geknip from a nitnip bud. So after you deconstruct all those, third process, third step, to put it in places, obviously, so you don't lose it all. So you can put them in storage containers, like I've done here, I'll show you. So I have a bunch of my corsagen in there, album and pearls. Other step, keep it in your exosuit, as well as your multiple starships. So you'll see here I have a 43 slaughter. Put all my stuff in here. Um, I also have those other two ships down there that also have resources in them. So I will go show you. Um, just for the sake of it. So you'll get in it, it'll switch the ship. So all my other stuff in here. Um, so you got stuff in the ship. You can put it in your freighter as well. I have a bunch of stuff in my freighter. This stuff can automatically be moved over when you buy the new freighter. <clears throat> so once you've done all that, everything's all set. Um, you do. You can remember that there is the freighter uh, cash. So if you buy a new freighter. Oh, yeah. It will go to the freighter cash. Just like at a home base, like on the planet, you have the home base cash. The freighter also does the same thing. So once you feel adequate that uh, you've gotten all your resources that you want, so right here is where it'll come in the new in the new freighter. So once you've done all that and you got all the resources where you want them to, you can obviously begin looking for a new uh, new freighter. That's the final step, is just find one and buy it. Um, once you've bought it, obviously, make sure you... Uh, so this is a very important step before you before you buy the freighter, actually. I call this, like, step five, uh, extra step, whatever you want. Um, make sure you delete these containers before you buy the new freighter. So, watch. What number is this? Actually, it'll tell me. So, I'll delete that. Boom. Okay. Now, when I rebuild it, and these are always so hard to find. All right. When I rebuild that, my things are still there, my resources. So you won't lose those. So you must delete the containers before you switch your base on your freighter. Otherwise, you will lose those. Um, and then all of this will come in the freighter cache. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Hope it works out for you. It makes life a little easier. Um, it does take, obviously, a little bit of time to put everything where you need to, but for me, I'd say that's definitely worth it, so I don't have to start all over on my, my farming. So, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in.